early summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, but as I was saying, this is not a, 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 a finished process. We want to to invite the community to really join us. Anyone who is interested in either acting or, or participating in, in any part of, uh, of the theater process, uh, please come and join us because mm -hmm. uh, we're very interested in not only in, in actors or in singers or, or artists, or whatever. We're, we're interested in, in, in the ideas mm -hmm. that come behind it. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's one of the things that Pueblo's been able to contribute because we have all kinds of stories, as you can imagine, of what's been happening in the community. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and then the same day that Despierta will have its opening night, we're having a workshop mm -hmm. uh, that we invite anybody to come to. And uh, one of the things that's a little different is our process is more organic, it's mm -hmm. collaborative. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, um, we have different audiences so part of it is just the wonderful Mexican cultural tradition of mm -hmm. street theater mm -hmm. and of being able to educate people about what's happening in and preserve that cultural mm -hmm. richness mm -hmm. and share it with the community and then we also will be doing things in a bilingual format and we're working mm -hmm. with that so that people can uh, appreciate the bilingualism mm -hmm. and biculturalism of our of our city you know it's one of our great attractions for tourists and we want to take that and bring it out to the people at the same time as dealing with pretty important political issues Absolutely. where will the workshop be it's going to be at la casa de la raza mm -hmm. that is going to take place uh, uh, what was it may 21st yes mm -hmm. may 21st at la casa de la raza uh, is that an all-day thing or evening? Nine to nine a.m. to one p.m. Oh, great! Yeah, okay. and it's so it's free. It's free, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have at least some some good coffee and some nice. pan de dulce, you know, <laughs> uh, Mexican <laughs> pastries, mm -hmm. uh, and definitely uh, a lot of fun. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, is this something uh, family oriented or are you looking at particular? We, we will have um, daycare for anybody who right. needs to have that in order to be able to participate. Mm -hmm. And yes, it is It is open. I mean, we, we certainly want the young people to get involved. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, uh, uh, anybody who's interested in, in this project, please uh, come close. We're, well, we're, we're thinking of people from you know, 13 years and, and up, I mean, mm -hmm. junior high mm -hmm. and up. Yeah would be really uh, highly appreciated. Mm -hmm. We definitely need the, the youth to, mm -hmm. to, to hook up on this process. And, uh, uh, but anybody is welcome, any ethnicity, any age group, mm -hmm. please, uh, we need actors, we need people, we need anybody who's, who's uh, willing to, to, to participate in little, any little piece that uh, will be welcome. Excellent. So one, one thing that uh, kind of comes up for me is I'm, um, Still kind of, um, I think it's fabulous. I, I'm, I'm just having a mental picture of driving down State Street and just looking over and watching, you know, uh, something out of the ordinary take place. I think um, it'll be really interesting to see how the community reacts to that. Um, mm -hmm. how, how will you be able to gauge the, um, the success of, of this theater, the Guerrilla Theater? How will you, you know, be able to gauge the success of how the community is reacting to it? Well, if we are able to to have these issues be brought into into a community discussion, I think that 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 that's going to be a a, a good way to measure of our success, because uh, right now most of the th these things aren't being discussed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So really, if once again, if this if, if this becomes a, a way of creating a public forum around mm -hmm. it. That's going to be great in itself. Okay, that's great. Well, I um, I think it's wonderful what you've all collaborative, uh, what a creative endeavor that you're doing. And um, I, again, I applaud um, that you're taking such a, um, a difficult subject matter and putting it in the forefront, basically putting it in people's faces, recognizing it, putting it out in the uh, open, taking it out of the closet, so to speak. I think it's, I, I think it's, I just applaud your efforts. And um, I know that we need to keep in mind um, that uh, Pueblo is also having some upcoming fundraisers. Yes, we're having a big one on uh, May 15th, Sunday. And uh, it's the Pueblo Action Fund. There are two parts to Pueblo. Mm -hmm. One is the 
501c, which is a nonprofit, and the other one is a politically active uh, group, and that's the group that is having a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. So the uh, tickets are only fifty dollars, which for Santa Barbara is pretty mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. <laughs> pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested, do call uh, the office at Pueblo. We mm -hmm. do need a reservation by May six, so the week before, mm -hmm. and the number there is eight eight two two four eight four. And uh, we'd be glad to have you. Uh, it's going to be a big event, and a lot of the local officials are, are going to be there, and there'll be a silent auction. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's probably one of the most diverse crowds you'll ever see in Santa Barbara for a fundraiser. So. Excellent. Great. And Ben, if someone was interested on the Consumer Advocate Coalition, how would they get in touch with the Consumer Advocate Coalition? Well... Um, my, maybe my email will show up on the screen. But, um, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and um, so Nito Bendito. Mm -hmm. um, and in any case, uh, we'll, um, the Consumer Advocacy Coalition, mm -hmm. which um, is a grassroots organization about, um, well, uh, mental illness and uh, being a consumer, which is a mental health um, care recipient, mm -hmm. I guess, um, we, we do have weekly meetings, and uh, we are getting, you know, a lot of us have shown a flair for acting, so mm -hmm. um, you're, you're welcome to contact me. Excellent. Or. Great. Okay. So I want to thank you all for being on our show, and again, if anybody has any questions about um, AIM Santa Barbara, we are at uh, www.aimsb, and um, if anybody has any questions about Families Act, please feel free to contact Mr. Pablo Romero. And uh, any questions about Pueblo, Dr. Barbara Lopito, and, um, and also about Ben and Con Consumer Advocate Coalition. Um, I'm going to be making plans to make sure that I'm there on May 21st. Okay, great. And um, if I know any musicians or actors and other creative you know, souls, I will make sure I drag them with me and bring them along so they can enjoy a wonderful day. Please do. Thank, Thank you. you. I look forward to seeing you there. I was really looking forward to being there. Thank you. And until then, um, again, if anybody has any questions about AIM, they can reach us on our website. Um, we will be doing some other community actions surrounding uh, Glen Cove up in the northern area, uh, which is a sacred site that's being assaulted with uh, development at the present time. That will be our next show. And um, more on that later on our next show. Hurry up, please.